Anyway, so I just kind of wanted to make an update video, kind of a video for me, because I feel like I need to talk. Um, I'm just gonna start by saying sometimes people don't know what goes on behind closed doors, and it's kind of hard to understand why people do the things they do. But anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. Um. I didn't kick on a bunch of makeup, I'm literally in my pajamas because I want to make a real video, a real update video, not an over edited, over happy, fake personality video. I'm going to start off by saying in March, I started, um, I started to die um, because there were incidents, not only in my personal life, but out in the open. There were just like so many little incidents that led up to me feeling over critical and feeling like I feeling like I needed to change and feeling like I wasn't good enough and that I needed to do something to make people like me more. And I thought what would do that is to lose a bunch of weight. I went from around 135 pounds to 90 pounds. Right now I'm around 100, so that's okay. I'm only 5 feet tall. So 130 made me a little chubby, but 90 makes me a little bit too skinny. So. I'm going to say that I started a diet in March. Um, it was a fruit cleanse, it was like a pre-diet thing, you completely cleanse your body. And I did it, I did it every single day, I followed every single instruction that was given. I even worked out extra to get like better results, drank tons of water, you know, how cleanses work, probably. Um, so I was like, okay, I lost a couple of pounds, that's cool. And I was like, well, if I stop, I can't having these feelings that people were going to judge me, people were going to think I'm fat. If I lost weight and they gained it back, they were going to be like, oh, you look good, and then, oh, you, you gained weight and you're fat. And it turned into a constant search of new diets, new health things. But at some point, I wasn't eating, it, like, enough at all. If I ate over 800 calories, like, I would overwork myself to the point where I was sick. And I was tired, and I was dizzy, and I went numb was bad and if I did overeat over 800 calories or whatever my silly limit was and I didn't work out I would take it out on everybody I'm, I'm supposed to care about take it out on people who genuinely want the best for me like my boyfriend I would take it out on him all the time but I'd like bigger with him because I thought that he wanted me to change he never openly said like oh it's part of your body it's like this this is like this but what my mom does is if I see somebody that I think is more attractive than me, my mind won't let me stop thinking about it and I'll constantly be comparing every part of their body to mine. You need to work out this part of your body so yours looks more like that. Like, you don't deserve food until you look like that, so you like this. So my, what was happening was really damaging. And then I started isolating myself around this time. And so I lost a lot of friends because I am the kind of person who, if they're upset, like, I don't say anything until I can't not say anything. I hold it in and then I blow up or something So and then people don't understand why I do it. They just freak out and call me, like, a crazy psycho bitch. I literally just pretty much did my opinion. I'll even insert some screenshots of you. I did blow up on one person at one point and start calling out a bunch of people because I was just so mad and so done with the way I thought I was being treated. It didn't help the fact that I already have a ridiculous amount of social anxiety where I can't ask teachers for questions. I was like missing classes, I was skipping days at school, I was late every day. Um, if I thought a teacher hated me, I just wouldn't show up. Like I thought my photography teacher hated me, <laughs> so I just wouldn't go to her class because I thought she didn't want me there. I laugh a lot because I'm bad at socializing. So sometimes like and I'm also really bad at taking compliments. Like, if someone's like, oh, hey, you did really good on stage, I'm like, oh, thanks, you too. <laughs> it walk away, right? Um, I, mean, I had problems socializing. Like, this one time I went to um, um, kind of a networking event, and my dad dropped me off because he had to go to the bank, and, like, these two guys came up to me. They were just, like, asking me, like, oh, like, what kind of music do you like? How'd you find out about you today? Like, kind of general questions you ask somebody. But I just started sweating so bad and freezing and stuttering because I just could not process how to have a conversation with somebody. As a little kid, I mean, I wouldn't say I was sheltered or anything. Because, I mean, I really wasn't. 
I was kind of just always with my mom. So even when I was like sent to kindergarten, I was like, I don't want to be here. I don't know anybody here. <laughs> but it never really got super bad until I hit like middle school and everything. So yeah, anyway, there's just been a lot going on. And with me and Morgan, like, we've been bickering a lot and stuff. Because I'm always afraid of what he thinks of me. I'm always. It's not even that I think it, it's just my brain's constantly trying to tell me that he's comparing me to people and that he thinks this and that he's talking bad about me or he's doing this because ever since I was probably like 12 years old, 10, 11, 12 years old, people who pretended to be my friend ended up not being my friend and cheating me like shit. So I was always just kind of used to having to be up on top and worry about what people think of me and Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that happen. I may just sound like I'm completely rude, but people don't understand. And sometimes they don't want to understand. The whole message I'm trying to convey is that you shouldn't change for people, and I shouldn't be preaching that <laughs> because I still feel this way. I still feel like I need to change. I still feel compared to other people, even though like nobody's actually comparing me. I still have a problem socializing. But that's something I know for myself I need to work on. <clears throat> but moving forward, I just want to say nobody should change for anybody. Just because you're different, people are going to fucking stomp on that. People are going to push you down and hate on you for that. But you only have to deal with that for so long. Because one day you'll graduate high school, one day you'll graduate college, one day you won't be working at your shitty job that you're working at, whatever your issue is. And you'll be so happy you stayed true to yourself. I didn't stay true to myself. And now I am not who I wanted to be. I feel like you guys, anybody who's watching this, I don't care if you hate me, if you love me, if you have no idea who I am. As long as you work hard, and you stay true to yourself, and you keep surround yourself with people who care about you, and let go of people who aren't good for you, then you're going to be just fine, because where you're supposed to be is where you're going to end up. Since I'm talking and I haven't made a video, this is an update, so um, me and Morgan made a website. It's in the making right now. <laughs> it's in the making. It's being built. It's called Stentorian's Tongue. Um, it's pretty much like a blog website with different pages of like fun stuff. We're still looking for like article submissions. So if any of you guys actually want to do an article submission, I'll actually sign off your volunteer hours. I'll sign off two volunteer hours per submission. You can submit videos, pictures, because there's different pages. There's Heatorian, Sheetorian, Daily Dose of Happy, Scaretorian, and like the main blog page. So like Heatorian is like guy stuff, Sheetorian's like makeup stuff, Daily Dose of Happy is like stuff for everybody. And then like the homepage is like blogs about like the blogs that people are submitting to us. <clears throat> and the blogs that we write ourselves. So we would love for you guys to check it out. It's in the building. If you guys have any suggestions for it, then just let us know. If you think there's something cool we could add. We would love to hear anything, even if you say like, Oh, that party website is ugly, it's stupid, and we hate it. Well, I'll fix it. <laughs> We're trying to build a forum so you guys can actually talk on it and like submit things through the website, which actually technically you can now, because we made like a mess address board. So yeah, um, at the end of the day, I just want to say, if you guys are ever feeling lonely, just remember you're not alone. I know every person who makes a video says that, but it really is true. If you feel lonely and you don't have anybody else in your life, like if you're in a position where you don't have any friends, you don't have from your parents, like you're afraid to talk to them about things, go outside, relax, take a breath, even go on a walk. And if you can see the moon, that's perfect, look at it, because there are 7 billion people on this planet. Somebody somewhere is feeling the same way as you, or they might even be in the exact or similar situation as you. Look up at the moon, somebody else is looking at it for the same reason. Maybe they're feeling lonely, maybe they have something wrong. It's something that helps me, because I know that there's so many people in this world, and there might be somebody who's exactly like me, somewhere. I would like to meet that person one day. Probably won't happen, but it would be really cool. But yeah.
stay true to yourselves, and remember there's always help. I'll have a bunch of links down below, including the website. I promise this isn't some kind of weird thing. I just needed to get out and say something, because I've been hiding and living in my room all summer. Stay strong. Do what you gotta do, work hard, okay? So I'm gonna say to anybody who's watching, all two of you. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if anybody is watching, probably not, but I just wanted to make a video for me. This might not even be posted. So, yeah. Bye.